The Bible is full of these stories. This is, the Bible is full of verses like this that over and over say, he is for you, not against you. God is for you, not against you. God is for you, not against you. If you will approach these New Year's resolutions like that, it will change your perspective. Grace, God is for you, not against you. Law, law is there just, it's, it has a point. It's just to bring you to this place where you stop being God and you allow God to be God. Grace, we receive the gifts that we're going to be talking about all through this next series. These gifts that allow for growth. We don't willpower our way through them. They're gifts. And the law is to help us die to self. Understand that God is God. That God's going to accomplish what he's going to accomplish. We enjoy the gifts as we move forward in them. It changes our perspective. So pull out that piece of paper. If you're watching online, pull out a piece of paper. I'll walk you through it. It's an acronym. It spells Christian. Uh, very creative. Very creative. I'm going to do it with you. So write Christian down the left side of your page. You guys already have it, I think. First one, C. Confession. What's your personal growth one for the year? This one you may already have in your head. This is where you'd put, you know, weight loss or some kind of, whatever you want. It's a personal growth goal. And, but the key is who's going to help you get there. You're not meant to do life alone. All right. H, we're going to move fairly quickly. You can do this on your own. So Holy Spirit, what is your prayer goal for the year? And who's going to help you get there? What's a prayer goal? You know, mine, I already did this first service. I put, I'm going to pray with my wife before bed every night. It's such a great goal. R, repetition. What is your Bible memorization goal for the year? And who's going to help you get there? I already have someone after first service that's helping me. I, interaction. What's your relationship goal for the year? So life is about relationships. So this can be family, friends. S is for service. What's your serve goal for the year? And who's going to help you get there? So service can be a lot of different ways. If you want to do it here at the church, I can give you a lot of ways to jump in right now. Lots of places to serve. But it can also be community um, and other things as well. So what's your serve goal? Is for togetherness. What's your church fellowship goal for the year? This one's in there for a very specific reason. We are going to really push this year for every person in this church to be in some kind of growth group. Uh, we have lots of different types of growth groups. Some are activity-based, some are Bible, uh, uh, book-based, but you all should be in something like that. So what's your church fellowship goal? What are you going to be involved in with a group of friends? Who's going to help you get there? I is for identification. What is your witnessing goal? Something needs to be coming out of you. You got to be telling your story. And that's real challenging. But we got to set this goal. This is a good one to set. That, that, that witnessing, identifying who you are to others goal. And who's going to help you get there? This would be good to have accountability with it. Then A is abstinence. So this is what is your fasting and silence goal for the year who will help you get there. So if you have a vice, this is where you might want to put it. So you're trying to stop doing something in your life. Fasting and silence is kind of a way that will help you get there. So what's sort of your fasting goal to abstain from something? It could be technology-based, computer-based. My kids should put their phones right here. In, in his needs, what's your giving goal for the year? Who's going to help you get there? You know, what's interesting about needs, time, talent, and treasures. Uh, the more you give, the more you'll find that you have more. And it doesn't make any sense, but I've just seen it enough times to tell you that this is the truth. If you're giving your time and your talent and your treasures, those are the ways to get time and talent and treasures. So what's going to be your giving goals for this next year and who's going to help you get there? 